what is going on guys it is your boy Cesar here bringing you guys my first video of 2014 so happy new year to all of you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed that holiday pack that I put out near uh, Christmas that was my like holiday New Year's Christmas pack so if you haven't got that I'll put that in the link description um, so anyways for the new start of 2014 this is the first video I'm gonna like, explain for a second what I'm gonna do uh, today's tour is actually gonna be creating a 2d banner which is gonna be like uh, way better than my first one that I ever did so uh, freaking stay tuned so anyways uh, I'm gonna be doing 200 or I'm gonna be doing every video I'm gonna have a secret giveaway to get the secret giveaway we're gonna hit 200 likes so if every video we hit 200 likes you'll get a secret giveaway whether it be a pack of materials a pack of stocks that are new to the community that you probably don't see and a whole bunch of people's other like exclusive you know stuff um, it could be literally anything I mean you can motion templates graphics intro templates uh, it, it can literally be anything like maybe even some store products who knows like 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 late old store products uh, that you can still buy but if you don't you know it's it's a thing it's just a secret giveaway whatever it is uh, just be thankful for it and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy every single one so don't forget uh, don't forget to hit the like button every single video 200 likes we hit it I put the link in the description for the download and that's that's it so that's a new thing I want to do for 2014 uh, so anyways, so let's get right into the tutorial. So we're going to be doing a 2D banner tutorial. As you see, I have Phase Jinx. I just, uh, just random client name. Although, you know, it doesn't have to be COD banner really. These are COD banners for like players and stuff like that for YouTube. Uh, if you're not like familiar with that kind of community, you can still replace client names or something with, uh, you know, Phase Jinx, whatever the client name is or your website name or whatever. And it's just like a slogan thing and just like a little box thing. So uh, this is going to be teaching you guys how to do. Uh, I'll, st I'll show you off what we started with. We started with right here we started with this right here and we ended up with this so it's a really big change it's really cool and I you know I got way better at them so anyways let's get going it's gonna be a long tutorial uh, so anyways let's go so I'm just gonna hide this and we'll get going so I have my stock here for my 2d pack my 2d 6k pack if you don't have this uh, you can download it right in the description below I also put that in the description uh, for you guys to download so anyways what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my stock I just resize it a little bit just to like fill at least half of the banner um, now I'm gonna do is press Alt and Shift and drag it, and I'm just gonna duplicate it so I can fill the whole entire banner. I'm gonna take my eraser with a nice, you know, uh, somewhat well, just zero hardness or whatever, and just erase. Kind of find a spot to erase, and then as soon as it just blends in a little bit, we can combine these two by uh, Control clicking Control E to merge them together. And what I'm gonna do now is kind of like fix the quality. Uh, just what I'm gonna do is just make Control J for a duplicate, or right click duplicate layer. Uh, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'm gonna put it to about three pixels. Press OK, and I'm going to my opacity. I'm just gonna lower the opacity down to maybe about 30 or 33. Uh, I like to use blur because it cl like cleans up the stock for me. If you want to use like any cool, uh, um, like other you know filters or whatever, you can either use Topaz Labs. is a really good uh, program. I did a plugin tutorial on, so if you want to see that, also I'll put that in the description. But uh, it's just some finalization type of thing. But uh, I just like to blur it out and make, make it a little bit more more, uh, more better or something for your eyes or whoever's eyes. Or anyways, I just like to clean it up. So that's what I did. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna press Control, merge it together, and now it's gonna go to the color slash like making the the banner or the backing itself look really nice and clean. All right. So last time my tutorial, I really didn't put too many textures on. So what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to click and I'm just gonna like change the color a little bit. So I'm gonna use my hue and saturation, uh, you know, properties tool or whatever. And I'm gonna lower my saturation to about maybe negative 30 or so. Uh, seems good enough. And then I'm gonna lower my hue. This is basically my color. Uh, just maybe to a different color. Let's see. Let's just go with. We'll go with this cool little blue tint right here. So this isn't like what I would do. Um, obviously, you probably not gonna use the same exact stock, or you're gonna even have to change the color because maybe the color of the stock is like something you know it's just preference whatever looks better to you I like to have this color as a stock whatever stock you use I have stocks in here uh, like if you were using this one you probably wouldn't change the color because you want that red lava feel but you probably just clean it up with like a filter or something like I said before uh, it's just stuff like that it's just, obviously I'm just as for what you know I'm doing it for you wouldn't change the color of this either you probably just put uh, maybe lower the saturation or something but you know it's just something keep in notice that you're not gonna be doing the exact same thing but you're gonna get the feel of what you're supposed to be doing Alright, so that's what I'm, once I'm done with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the backing layer and I'm going to just go to uh, gradient overlay, click on the gradient overlay and change this black, not to solid black, but just like almost like a grayish type of color, press OK, press OK again, I'll actually go back and press this white one over here, make this a little bit grayish, uh, so you have like a gray, like light gray to dark gray, um, or light gray to lighter or darker gray, and just press OK, and I'm going to put this gradient overlay to about 5. It's kind of like fixes lighting for me. Uh, you can see how like the lighting is like more balanced now on both sides. 
Um, it's just like for this stock like only like uh, obviously this is probably not what you're gonna do exactly but if it looks good for your stock it looks good for your stock but for mine this is what I do um, so anyways what I'm, now I'm gonna do I'll go to pattern overlay and I'll put all the pattern this this whole entire pattern thing you get all these patterns I'll put the link in the description as well uh, there's a lot of things gonna be in the description so anyways uh, this is Raiders pattern pack so I'm pretty sure this is from Raiders pattern pack so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on one of my favorite ones which I'll just use this one and the scale is what like brings together these little this is like the pattern itself if you look at the scale you can see the pattern a little bit more like defined and like 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 I guess closer together which kind of like fills uh, it just like makes it look really really nice so I'm just gonna load the opacity on these a little bit maybe like to here and press OK uh, once I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and just start adding some like you no know, textures and stuff so I'm gonna do go to my 2k pack actually I'm gonna use my mega pack which is uh, in my everything spoils pack thingy it's freaking awesome little pack if you want to get it uh, but it's like you have to it's this is not by itself this is like a, a feature inside of the everything pack that I have in my store but anyways I'm gonna use some of these textures maybe you guys have these maybe you guys don't but I'm just gonna use some of these textures to place it on top of my banner to like make it look a little bit more uh, gringy type of dirty or if you're not into this like type of style you can always just like fix or put patterns or textures on that you enjoy but these are some of that I enjoy so I'm just gonna have to just go like this control E keep my thing on normal and lower the opacity lower the fill a little bit and then we can go back and add some more you can add as many as you want uh, there's really no limit unless you can blend it because what 2d is is like a lot about blending without using like CC's and whatever so obviously the only thing I have right now is a hue and saturation which is not like a CC so like you know it's different from like doing 3d type of things where or 3d banners in our case like you know um, so you just want to like get a feel of using textures without like CCs and like having that be the cause of like making the it blend so anyways you just want to like kind of mess around with it a little bit let's zoom in a little bit more too also uh, this is looking really nice like this little it's like a little gringy feel going on right here I'm probably gonna add one more um, we'll just I guess we're add the next one up and put this on and go here and just gonna erase a little bit on the side so it kind of blends in a little bit more and then just, I'm just alt dragging all the way through control E and then keep it on normal and lower the opacity lower the fill a little bit also and then you have like a really nice like you see how like gringy and kind of like really like like it gives, it gives an, I can't talk <laughs> a, gives, a, gives, <laughs> like a good atmosphere type of feel you can see like if I just unhide all these you see how like it was kind of like bleh but now it's kind of like like eh, interesting so anyways that's what I would do for my like backing or whatever you can also add as many textures or patterns as you want you can combine these and go to here again go to pattern overlay and you can even put another pattern on if you want uh, I guess I'll do it just because there we go press OK and then now it just looks even cooler so anyways uh, that's something I would do uh, now I'm gonna do is just do the uh, like the right here uh, as I have the Kind of like these bars things that kind of looks looks really cool. It's just kind of like, it kind of focuses the middle of the banner. So you see how like it's black. So your eyes would straightly focus to more of the bright and more like you know colorful things. So that's why you have like this. It's like kind of like a focus onto this. Uh, kind of like why I see people do it. So anyways, what you do is just simply go to here, go to re uh, rectangle marquee tool, and then just like drag, like so, and just kind of like make it a, a nice skinny bar. And then what you're gonna do new layer right click fill uh, make it black that's alright press ok and then you can just deselect it or just press control D whichever one and then you can also press alt shift and just drag it down to make the same exact one on the bottom now and there we go so now we're gonna add some strokes to it so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the first one and go to stroke change my stroke color to white and press ok and change the stroke size maybe to about two and then what I'm going to do is press drop shadow and press the angle or change the angle from, you know, up to down, I guess, this little thing, 90 degrees. Uh, so the shadow is down and not up, so you wouldn't be able to see it. You can see. Um, so what I'm going to do is just slowly pass it a little bit. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to right click copy layer style, paste layer style, and then go to drop shadow. And then I'm just going to just change the shadow's direction. Um, I don't know why it does that. What the hell? It, like, links these two shadows together. I guess let me just there we go that'll work uh, so now what you want to do is you can just click on both of these two overlaying like little bar thingies majiggers 
And uh, if you lower the opacity, it lowers the opacity along with like the uh, the stroke path. So you like want to blend that in. That's if you like this kind of like style. But what I do is I like put the opacity to about like 90 or something, and then put your fill. And this is what uh, this is the whole thing. If you lower your fill, it's actually lowering the stock or whatever you're doing, not the effects. So if you lower the fill, this like the stroke is going to be exactly the like like perfect. It's going to be same. It's going to be everything's all right. Uh, so what I like to do is just like keep that at like 70 or so. Or maybe just lower it, blend it a little bit more. And so you have like a nice dark like lines along with the like a really nice, you know, intense white. Kind of like focus your eyes on what's ever going to be in the middle of the banner. Uh, so once you're done with that, you're ready to start moving on to text. And let's get going. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use just straight text. I'm going to use a font called, uh, let's see, what font are we going to use? We're going to use a nice font. Uh, Factos is a little, it's a really nice like a, a good font to like to have focused on. I don't know. I'm just using one of my favorite fonts. 125. Uh, come on. 125. And then what I'm gonna do is you wanna probably keep your your text in capital letters only because like let's say I'm just gonna redo the phase jinx or whatever. Phase jinx. Let me just change this for you guys. You don't need to know this yet. Um. So yeah, you can see like it kind of looks weird having just like you know just lowercase letters in between like I don't know I just thought it doesn't look clean to me it looks clean as having phase jinx or whatever your clients name or whatever you're working with name having it in like capital letters so it's like really nice and just you know easy going it's just like really good I don't know uh, I'm gonna kinda like put this up a little bit more there we go alright so now what I'm gonna do is when you have your name set you just wanna double click on this so I'm gonna add some effects on it uh, I'm gonna go to stroke and I'm gonna just change the stroke color to about like the darkest color I can see on like my stock. Uh, so it's not black, but it kind of like blends in in a way. Uh, that'll work, I guess that'll be okay. And we can do some drop shadow. I'm not gonna really change anything besides the distance, the spread, and the size a little bit up. And I'm just gonna lower the opacity. There we go. And then you can do whatever you want. If you wanna put a gradient overlay, you can, but it's not one of the things I do. Uh, I'll just probably put it on like five or seven or so. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna like put like the main focus. Let's for the text you wanna like have a a main focus. So if the main focus of the name is like one name and not like phase jinx or like whatever whatever, uh, if it's like a it's just one thing, you can just leave it white or leave it a simple color. But you wanna have like the focus on the color, uh, or the focus on like whoever the person is like a color. So it's like this. I mean, I'm trying to like not confuse you. But what I'm gonna do is just gonna take this blue as I have here or whatever this color is, put it up a little bit. I gotta get the right color. Uh, oh, that's why. Move your text above this. There we go. Okay. Go to here and get this color. There we go. That'll work. There we go. All right. So like I said, I'll just put the the like Jinx is the name. So I'm gonna have that color just because I have like you know the focused on phase is phase, but then I have Jinx like it's the same color. So it kind of like pops out more than anything else. So anyways, what you're gonna do now is you can go to your text and we're gonna put like a little like a little uh, anything. Let's just like say a slogan or something. So I'm gonna put on like 24 font, all capital letters. I'm a proud member of Phase. Where is it at? Nope. Proud member of phase. Uh, I can put proud member of phase sniping. I can put anything, any, just any, I guess. But anyways, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this font a clean font, which is I like this font right here. Uh, I'm gonna make it white. Press OK. Change it to bold. And then it's just like a more cleaner font for anyone's like appealing eyes, I guess. And then I'm gonna press Control A, Control T to bring everything up. Control A selects everything. Control T brings it this little. Uh, this little table right here, if you can see this little VA, this kind of like spreads letters together or spread letters apart with like nice and even without changing like the uh, like the size or anything. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just like put this up a little bit and kind of like match it up from both of these sides so it kind of like fills more. Um, just trying to fill as much space as I can. So I'm gonna like spread the letters a little bit and then that's good enough for me, like that. And then you have proud member of phase right under it. Double click on this. Go to stroke and I lower my strokes about one, so it kind of like pops a little bit more. So you can actually like, you know, just pops a little bit more. Um, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer above phase jinx, and I'm gonna uh, make sure I clip masking to it. I'm gonna use go to my brush, and I'm gonna put these brushes inside the description below. Uh, these are right here, 
And I'm gonna take these nice little grunge brushes. I'm just gonna like hit it around the name. I'm just gonna take another one uh, here. Make a new layer. Come on. And just do it again. And it kind of gives it that like nice, it just kind of like pops a little bit more, kind of gives it more the text little just texture, I guess you can say. I'll just fill a little bit. All right, so there we go. So, so far we're kind of like getting what we had before. Uh, you know, it's just somewhat. All right, so now what we're gonna do is gonna do that little box you can see right here. This little, let's see, this little box right here kind of like focuses on, uh, I'm sorry that you can see the other one fading in, but anyways, this is like the little box kind of like focuses and like focuses your eyes more on the name. So what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna hide that. Uh, so what you do, is just make a new layer. Uh, anywhere like above everything you did before, besides like the text, I guess you can say. Uh, has to be below the text, obviously. So if you want to go to your pen tool, or you can even use like a, your own rectangle. It doesn't really matter if you're not really good with the pen tool, but it's simple to do the, with the pen tool. You just like click, uh, you hold shift to make straight lines, and then you can just go here, hold shift again, hold shift once again, go here, and then just hold shift for another straight line, connect it. I'm gonna delete this one. Uh, control click on this to move it, and then simply just have like this cool little box right here. So I'm just gonna like move it all together over a little bit more and I'm gonna right click fill color and I'm not gonna make it purely black I'm gonna just put my mouse a little bit above the black press ok and deselect or delete and then what I'm gonna do is this is like this is cool itself like if you wanted to have like the black just like be black by itself uh, what I like to do is like I, uh, I like to use a stroke and I put my stroke color to white and then I lower my stroke size about two and then what I do is don't lower my opacity because I don't want to lower the stroke I want to lower the fill only uh, so that just like lowers whatever the stock, whatever it is. And then it kind of gives it that really cool like, little like box fading in so you can still see the background of whatever the stock was you used. And so that's what I do. And I can just double click on this. I can even put a pattern on if I wanted to. Uh, here. And go to here. Opacity. Lower, maybe put the scale a little bit more down. And there we go. Opacity. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not feeling this one. All right. And... All right, there we go. So something like that. Uh, so basically, that's how you how would I would just create the the banner itself. So if you want to like move everything, let's say if you want to just move everything and like kind of place it in the middle somewhere. Uh, also, if you want to put like any like their social medias anywhere, but I would probably put them on the top because it just looks cooler. And then just like have something else on the bottom. Just like fill. You want to fill the banner as much as possible with not like pointless things, but like information, whatever their information would be. And then it would just be simple enough just uh, to finish it off maybe you can just put another new layer above everything have a nice white I'm gonna zoom out a little bit take my brush making like a nice size brush and then just like hit oh I gotta go back to reset I gotta go back to soft brush make the brush nice and big and then set the brush once kind of like focus the name with a nice little lighting on it right here and then simply just lower the opacity so it's not so bright kind of like blend it in a little bit more and there we go. So there you go. You're you're done. So if you want to also like, if you like, let's see, if you want to do something else, you can control sh or shift click on everything. Control J, Control E. Uh, it's a little something you guys can do. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Press OK. And then just lower the opacity again. Kind of like clean everything up, make it nice and smooth, and just like really cool looking. Uh, so that's how I make my 2D banners, guys, and like how you would like go about making yours, maybe. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't forget 200 likes for the secret giveaway uh, for all my videos so for, uh, for future reference. Um, all the stuff that I, you saw in this video will be in the description below besides the Mega Pack version 1 because you have to purchase this. But uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy. Like I said before, comment any new uh, tutorials that you want to see. And Happy New Year's, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, quickly, just again, uh, let's say if you want to change the color, simply enough, uh, put a hue and saturation above everything. And then you can just change the color on its own. Without even like going back to anything and look look how look this freaking looks good okay this looks really really freaking sexy I can't lie um so yeah anyways I'll talk to you guys later sister